again today from Toronto's Liberty Village area, an industrial um, historic heritage district from the Victorian era. And we're right at the corner of Queen and Dufferin. And with me is Francesca from the local business improvement area, who's an expert on this particular area. And what is, what is this building here? Um, so right now we're looking at uh, uh, a building that was originally built in 1913 for the AB Ormsby Company. And it was built as a showroom and factory for the metallic products that it mm -hmm. produced. Um, it's a great example of early 20th century industrial design that incorporates the classical elements that were in fact produced by the company at the time. So really a building to showcase what the company was all about, mm -hmm. um, which is what we see in this neighborhood very uh, often. And now it's home to regular businesses such as Subway, um, uh, physiotherapy clinics, uh, we've actually got the head office here for Gibson Guitars, oh, yeah. as well as Diesel Clothing. So really a wide variety of businesses are now in this building, where at one time it used to be just one business manufacturing metallic products. Really? So a lot has changed. A lot has changed, and it's very interesting. I mean, this area used to be for a while, quite a run-down sort of industrial district that has really made a phenomenal comeback in the last uh, 15 years or so. And these are gorgeous pictures here yes, of guitars. Is, yeah, this is guitars. Wow. And this is, as I mentioned, uh, Gibson guitars. Exactly, yeah. And, um, now, do they make them here or sell them here? Um, they, they do a lot of uh, promoting and sales. So uh, they also do performing as well. I know they do sound checks and equipment checks. They really do a variety of things. Very often you'll see uh, bands going in and out of there, uh, quite Ooh. hush hush. Very interesting. Now across the street we've got a lovely patio place here. Yeah. What is this place this here? This is Shoeless Joe's. Uh -huh. uh, it's actually a chain of restaurants but this is part of the Toronto Carpet Factory complex and as you can see on the yeah. right the main building. Beautiful. Uh, Toronto Carpet Manufacturing Company. Now exactly. The original lettering that's been held on there now by some mesh wiring to make sure everything is secure. Mm -hmm. um, but this is all part of the same complex, the Toronto Carpet Factory complex. Beautiful. And you're going to show me some areas now in the courtyard, yes, I think, right? I am indeed. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome.